So what up SOS family, I am actually back outside to get my push day workout in but I just figured it would be the perfect time to make this video for those of you guys who have wrist pain when you guys are doing your pushing exercises, in particular the push-ups. Now I remember in my first summer of training, I was training like what every single day, sometimes even twice a week and I remember at the end of July. I kind of effed up my wrist because I wasn't paying attention, I wasn't cautious to how I was doing my exercises and how I was prepping to do my workouts. So therefore it felt like my wrist had like arthritis or something, I don't know what it was, but I know I was overusing my wrist and well I can't say I stopped working out, if you guys go back to some of my old videos, you guys will see that I had the, little, that I had the wrist wrap on and I was still doing one arm exercises like I just did not want to miss a day of workout until my body just couldn't do it anymore anyway I just want to give you guys my tips on what you guys can do to make sure you prevent getting the, getting the wrist pain and to make sure that you could uh, alleviate the wrist pain if you actually do uh, experience or suffer from that wrist pain okay so the first tip I'm gonna give you is to make sure that your wrists are sitting in sitting underneath of your shoulders when you are doing your push-ups when your shoulders are sitting behind your wrist, most of the weight, if not all of the weight, is being applied at the bottom of your hand, which is where your wrist is. As you lean forward, you're gonna realize that a lot of the weight is shifting from here across the entire hand. And the more you lean back with your shoulders, you're gonna start feeling a lot less weight on your fingers and a lot more weight on your wrist. Obviously, if you're pushing your entire freaking body weight on your wrist, on the bottom of your palm, you're gonna start feeling pain. Okay, that's one thing I think I realized after I got the, the wrist pain. I wasn't really focusing on how, how I was doing the push-ups. I was just going and banging out, repping out uh, freaking reps, and I was just slowly deteriorating my joints. So again, for those of you guys who aren't watching your form, please make sure that your shoulders are sitting over your wrist so that you could distribute the weight across your entire hand, across your fingers, everything. So the second tip is to grip the ground. The best way for me to explain gripping the ground is kind of like you spread your fingers and you got to, it, it feels like you're palming a basketball. The reason why you want to do this is to make sure that you're utilizing all of the muscles in your hands to stabilize your body when doing the push-ups. You do not want to do push-ups like I see some people doing with your fingers together. Again, you're going to start applying a lot of the pressure to the bottom of your palm because you're not using your fingers also. Your fingers are useful tools when doing your exercises, so please use them before you snap your shit up it's so important like I, I really want to drill this into your guys's head okay so grip the ground spread your fingers and make it feel like you're palming the freaking earth okay the earth is your basketball now for those of you guys who have just bad like who just have bad wrists okay I have a bad right wrist to be honest so sometimes even when doing some of these exercises for too long I start getting wrist pain uh, in my right wrist because it just doesn't have as much mobility as my left wrist but uh, a little thing you could do to adjust your workout or adjust your pushing exercises is by either doing it on your knuckles, which I slightly recommend. Like, I wouldn't recommend you do it for too, too long because it starts to make your knuckles look black and it starts to it starts to irritate the skin on your knuckles. But if you're just trying to get through, a, finish your workout and you don't want to like, you don't want to stop your sets or stop your reps just because of your wrist pain, try to go on your, your knuckles. But if you're like me and you have push-up bars or parallettes, I would advise that you go on your parallettes so that your grip is is like this, you're gripping bars instead of applying the pressure onto your wrist. Those are the only adjustments I can really think of to really help you guys uh, get through your workouts if you do have bad wrist pain. Now obviously first and foremost, before you even start any of what I, I spoke about, you want to make sure that you're conditioning your wrist every day, especially if you have bad wrist. Make sure that you're conditioning your wrist every day and make sure that you are warming up your wrist before every single workout that you do. I cannot stress that enough. Ever since I started following these tips that I gave myself, especially warming up before my workouts, I did not have that wrist pain that I felt that first summer ever again. Did I have it sometimes here and there? Yes, because I would train like a freaking beast and even when I felt the pain, I would keep going. But for the most part, I did not have pain where it, it, it took me out of my workouts for over a week. So before every single exercise or workout that I would do, I would make sure I do this wrist conditioning exercise or this wrist stretch, whatever you want to call it. 
first thing I would do is for about 15 to 20 seconds, I do it in this way. Straight arm, and I would lean forward for about 15 to 20 seconds. Then I will rotate my, my arm, straight arm, lean back as far as you can and stretch. And I'm applying a bit of pressure to my wrist so that I'm, pr I'm preparing my wrist to handle my body weight when I'm doing handstands, push-ups, whatever. So lean back. And the last way I would do it, right after, is straight arm as much as possible with your, the back of your hand facing the ground, lean back. You'll feel the stretch more along the, the front of your forearm. And I would do that for both arms, obviously. Please take heed to my message because for calisthenics enthusiasts such as myself, if you snap your shoulder, your elbow, your wrist up, you are not really doing calisthenics until those are fixed. You can snap your ankle up and still do calisthenics. Snap your knee up, still do calisthenics. Uh, the higher up you go, when you start snapping up your hips and the, the, the joints above your waist, then yeah, you're probably going to start getting screwed. So again, please take care of yourself. Don't be like me who was training every day and not, not paying attention to what I was doing. Okay? So I hope this video helped you guys. I'm going to get my workout in, get my warm-up in, and follow my own damn tips because I don't want to be a hypocrite. <laughs> okay? And I'll talk to y'all next time, okay? Uh, stay blessed. I am out of here. Done.